We 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 Metroid 3 baby. <laughs> we made it. We uh, are officially at Super Metroid. We a few games later, we come to what's still my favorite in the Metroid yep. series. Metroid 3 Super Metroid game that I've played over 20 times in my life. Oh uh, hell yes. <laughs> All right, let's start this baby up. All right, yeah, I mean, <laughs> unlike the other two, I mean, there's really no real need for an introduction to this one. It's just, I may want to erase I'm that. clear that. Test my data there. <laughs> basically making sure that the sound's coming in okay and that it's running how it's supposed to. We'll delete Sweet. That. And that. Word to the wise, make sure you also have the control set where you want them. Oh, yeah. Before you jump into a new save. Well, let's see here, which I always... I cannot do the default in this game, so no, I, the default is everyone's awful. gonna see shot X. Like for people unfamiliar with an SNES controller, that's triangle on a PlayStation. Yep. It, that makes no sense. So we're gonna do that. Oh, we're gonna change. I don't know that. what they were thinking with the defaults of these. Dash I think is fine. maybe it was an attempt to sort of mirror the NES control scheme, but forgetting that the button layout is totally different. That they could do so much better now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Which go. they totally corrected in later entries. Oh, you I got like, the moonwalk, don't you? I like the manual. I don't like doing the moonwalk. I actually, oh, you don't? Okay, no. sweet. Me neither. But I, I figured you might. All right, here we go. Beginning Metro. Had to let him get his line in. <laughs> his one line. Yeah, right. Let him, let Which is like half the data on the cartridge. Right. Oh, man. I remember Mortal Kombat 3 for the, I think it was the Game Boy Color, touted that uh -huh. it had, like, announcer voices and stuff, and it was such a huge deal. Oh, for real? Yeah. Dude, I never yeah. saw that game on the Game Boy Color. That had to have been a trip. I'm pretty sure it was the color. Maybe it was the advance, if, but I'm, the I think advanced it was the color. more likely, but... But the advance they could did do voices. They some pretty ambitious fighting games on the original Game Boy. They they did. I remember their Mortal Kombat on the original Game Boy. It was it was terrible. It was pretty bad. But of course, I still loved it as a kid. It's like Mortal well, Kombat on the I, go. I had, uh, I had yeah, we just saw this. I had a uh, King of Fighters on the original Game Boy. And oh, fun really? story about that game. I think it was like King of Fighters '95 or something like that. Um. And, and, you know, it was like a full-on, like, Nintendo Seal of Quality game. Uh, it was fully translated, but, like, the pixel art was so obscure that I'm pretty sure, like, the people who were in charge of, like, quality inspection of the game didn't bother to check it fully. But when you play as my Shira Nui... Awesome. Is my like, gonna, when is she going to come into this conversation? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. When my Shira Nui got a victory, she undid her top and just let her boobs hang out. Like, that was very what? clearly what was happening. And, you know, they were like four <laughs> pixels God. wide. So it's not like you could make out what you were seeing anyways. But it was very clear what she was doing. I'm like, how did this get past the, uh, the, se the sensors? Wow. Especially Nintendo. I feel like some some crazy things get past sensors because they usually they either don't check absolutely everything, like they just check yeah. a few a few parts of the game, or you know try to do as much. Right, but that's like literally her even. victory pose. Like seriously, you think yeah. They would have that. <laughs> <laughs> and then what was the other famous one that I'm thinking about uh, Nintendo wise? Um, oh, Secret of Mana. Are you familiar with like the uh, the porn mag? In that game, no. Where is that at? So there's an enemy that has like a super rare animation. Um, it's it's a, like a flying book that attacks you. And um, one of the pages that it can open up to is actually just a spread of a naked woman. Oh my god, I did not know about that, a secret of mana. Yeah. And once again, like super pixely, you can't really make out what, what's happening. I wonder but, if that's yeah. in the remake. It's so interesting what wonder, yeah. thinking about Final Fantasy IV, what all the different versions did with the developer room and the the uh, what is it, the magazine or the dirty magazine? I think they started DS version called it the Lustful Lolly Ho. Yeah, I <laughs> think that's like, its official title as of right now. Which is like that's actually Lustful Lolly Ho. Whatever translator came up with that, it's like well, props to them. That's actually pretty good. Oh snap! It's Ridley Son. Yep. Bum, bum, bada, bum, right. bum, bum, bada, this is, bum, this is where bum, he's gonna end right now. 
Yeah, right. I was convinced as a kid that you could kill Ridley at this point. But you can make him drop the baby for a second. That's right, if you if you fuck him up enough, which you're on your way to. I mean, you've got him in the uh, kind of dark red already. He's not feeling good. He is embarrassed. You know, in a way, it might have been kind of a blessing that you didn't get to um, take the reins of AM2R because it controls so differently that I'm not sure you'd oh, be doing as awesome as you are right now. I wonder if it would have messed me up. <laughs> I, it, it certainly does me. Like, I did a little test of Super Metroid just Ow. in case we had technical difficulties on your end, and I was the one who had to run it. And, yeah, like, when you get used to the zero mission controls, it's, it's jarring to go back to Super Metroid. Drop that fucking Metroid. Yeah. There it is. Fuck you. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> I'll get you, Samus. Self-destruct sequence activated. Oh, oh. Didn't have to wait too long for <laughs> self-destruct in this one. <laughs> yes. I gotta say though, this body right here, this is like the goriest part of a game. That's Yeah, just I know, horrible. right? That guy got fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> You're right, there are some parts of Metroid that are like full on like horror. Survival horror. Seriously, yeah. yeah. It has its moments. So now, um disclaimer as we're recording, on my end of the screen I'm seeing like some jankiness. I'm guessing that's not coming in at all on your Not on mine. Okay, perfect. And that's all that matters, because we're recording from your end. Uh, as long as um it's perfectly oh, smooth God. on your side, we're good. Holy shit. <laughs> game over. <laughs> Add some drama. Dude, this game has still probably my favorite, like, or at least most iconic intro of any game ever. Uh, followed Seriously. closely by FF7. Yeah, the, the intro of this game is pretty cool, and I've seen it like a million times, and it's still just like... Yeah. I know, but it never gets old. It, it just perfectly sets the tone for the rest of the game. It does. And it's over in a flash. It goes by so quickly, yeah. but you know exactly what you're doing here, you know. And it's... you know what? In the same way, very much so with FF7 as well. Like, intros used to be, you know, just intros. They showed you the characters. They showed you the setting. They gave you a little bit of kind of like sample gameplay so that you understood what you were getting into. Mm -hmm. And then they just turn you loose. Yeah. And, and that's what and... an intro needs to be. Now, like, we're so bogged down by tutorials. Yeah, seriously. This game, I mean, that is the tutorial. Playing the game is the tutorial. They yeah. set up a little stage where, like, the first part, you, you gotta do your somersault jumps, you gotta move around a little bit. You know, fighting yep. Ridley is a perfect introduction because it's, you can't really die, you know? You right. Can, you can screw him up a little bit, but, you know, as soon as your, your health gets low... You know, he flies away. None of the tiles that are, you know, falling on your head can hurt you. So, it's yep. it's low stakes, but it's a lot of fun. And right, and it they feels don't pause... appropriately weighty. Yeah, and they don't pause the gameplay to be like, oh, uh, you know, you got to do this, and here's how you shoot Samus. <laughs> yeah, right. Press the square button to fire your zappy gun. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. There's another reason we can never, like, actually hit it big on YouTube. We're basically just a parody of Ego Raptor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, he's fucking stealing all my bits. <laughs> yeah, pretty oh, much. Like, yep. It's like, that's only because we're fans of Ego Raptor. So, of course, we're going to That's exactly him. right. And I, it's like we're going to be cutting into his profit margin. Not, not that, like seeing him or hearing him talk like he would be the kind of guy that would care about that anyways yeah. but unless we were like blatantly like oh Eagle Raptor f sucks and I came up with this yeah. first we start monetizing this yeah and it's just like yeah, what right. is Eagle Raptor who I'm the real Eagle Raptor <laughs> <laughs> oh man I don't know why this Dude, part have you listened to uh, Ninja Sex Party uh, not, not really. I've heard some of their stuff. That, that's I've seen some of their YouTube. Sex Bang. That that's his band. Yeah. That, that's actually the intro to my solo um videos. It is uh yeah. I could, I could tell uh, it was Ninja Sex Party. Yeah, 
if if you haven't listened to them, I highly recommend it. I mean, they're music hilarious, and like if you kind of like that '80s kind of hair band genre that it's you and I sort of grew up with, <laughs> oh, yeah. then, then you'll appreciate their style. Oh, they're looking at me. What's going on? Yeah, right. So, let's see. We're gonna shoot for like hour-long episodes again. How far? Like, let's hear your prediction. How far do you think we're getting tonight? Um, I think I can get the power bomb. In an oh hour. damn, that's ambitious. Oh wait, are you gonna sequence break? That's the other big question about this run. Are you going to sequence break? I I usually don't sequence break. And and okay, that is all you. I'm trying to think, like, maybe for certain little items, but no big items. Oh, no. Yeah, like, if you can, like, bomb jump to something a little early, that's never a bad thing. Yeah, that's not, that's not too too much. Okay. My, my prediction was going to be Krang. Oh, I'll, I'll get to him. What are you... <laughs> I thought the back of his knees were weak. There were no space like, pirates. I'm not here, sir. have no protection to the back of the knees. Nope, that's their weak spot. This damn grasshopper pirates. No, probably more based on the prey mantis, it looks I like. I think so, yeah. Crazy ass yeah. arms. But definitely insectoid. <laughs> and then, like, Metroid Prime hits and they're just fucking, like, mini dragons. Oh, wait, I don't need to be in here yet. No, you need the bombs, I think, to get yeah. through there. So, dude, now that we've got the Elgato, we might want to seriously sit, seriously consider um, doing a Metroid Prime run through in the future. I, I don't think like as part of this main series, but maybe down the road, like when we're ready to revisit the Metroid universe. So, would you do on the, um, the uh, Wii, the remastered versions? Or I wouldn't say yeah, definitely, because that's but, uh... actually what I own right now. Uh, the Sadly, my original copy of Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime 2 were sold by my brother. Oh, great. <laughs> that's right. Yes, I that remember you telling me move. that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you telling me not and so you know, calmly. And he wonders why I'm slightly hostile to him <laughs> when he comes for visits. <laughs> uh, that's, not, that's not something you can forgive so easily. Those games are Yeah, classic. right, like, don't fucking go into the media room without my supervision, dude, because I don't know what you're going to take and <laughs> sell. Also, uh, for the GameCube, that game's pretty rare these days. Is it? I think so, yeah. Like, the first, well, the first one, I'm pretty sure, that, and I think Echoes as well. I gotcha. I mean, the, the, the nice thing about digital distribution is that it kind of curbs the price to admission for people like me who are sort of recollecting the physical media. Um... If you can get it online for fifteen bucks, yeah, you know, people have less of a claim to say, "Oh, I'm going to charge a hundred dollars for the old, you know, disc," which is kind of nice. That is, they're That's still expensive. I mean, like if I uh, ever get a repurchase a cartridge of Super Metroid, uh, oh, like you own, you own, you still own your Super Metroid cartridge, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to have it on the SNES Classic. Um, but at the same time, I would like that as just kind of a trophy piece, just because oh, I'm it dying. is one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, dude, you may die. No. No, you won't. Fuck me for saying that. If you could give me some missiles, though, that'd be great. There we there go. Goes. Tight. That'll be the closest I die. <laughs> way, way to build the suspense there. <laughs> Seriously. Whoopsie doodle. Okay, so another early game prediction here. I'm gonna guess that by the time we get there you're gonna get careless and you will die on uh the phantom boss what's that guy called again oh oh you know what that one can be troublesome sometimes the i, I, I die know, on him like clockwork ghost the squid time. yeah ghost squid sucks you if you ghost squid, yeah. if you're like missing <laughs> that's his official name yeah if you're missing all your super missiles towards his eye yeah that can be that can cause some problems For sure. All right. Did the um, Discord overlay just pop up for you? No, it did for you. Okay. Cool. As yes. long as it's just on my end, I don't care. Well, we're still talking, so how? Yep. Please. All right. And, and and once again, like I said, all these things don't bother me at all as long as they're just on my end. 
And even then, like I said, we're not pros at this, so <laughs> if we get like little glitches or hiccups, I could care less as long as we get quality audio and oh, yeah. the gameplay is not distorted. Worst case, if it's horrible, we'll trash it. We'll do this all over again. Yeah. But I'm kind of, I gotta say, I'm kind of enjoying watching you. <laughs> yeah, give yourself a break. You've been doing all the work here for a little while. Right? In addition to just my regular series. Speaking of which, oh, I haven't, dude, so I haven't watched the Lunar I series Bioshock in a while. Infinite. Oh, you did? Oh. I did. All right, so the game that Why you did, did not spoil for yourself. Why did me about the feelings? <laughs> dude, like, I was oh my emotionally gosh. crushed. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, nuts, I had to go it? straight to bed just so that I would not be alone with my thoughts. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a its a great ending. It's sad. And and was it genuinely surprising to you? Did you kind of figure something yeah, out? Yeah, believe Did it you... or not, the game's like, what, six years old? Yeah. Something like that? It's, I yeah, never, six years old. I never saw a spoiler for it um, throughout all of the years that it's been posted and talked about and reviewed. Like, I thought the big spoiler was going to be that Elizabeth was his daughter, which I kind of saw coming. Yeah. Like, it, it, as soon as they let you know that Comstock wasn't her real father, uh, well, figuratively speaking, um, <laughs> once they let you know that, you know, she was, you know, found, I was like, oh, it's gotta be that she's really Booker's daughter. But that wasn't the shocker. No. Like, the last five seconds of the game, where they let you know that, I mean, we can talk about this because at this point I'm probably the last person on earth who didn't know this, but Booker is actually yeah, six year old spoilers. Um, and, yeah, and right. I think they give, I've never replayed the game, but I'm pretty sure they give little hints with like the distort, like his voice is all distorted. There's like little right, spatial do. distortions and, and, and stuff. The, the big, the big um, uh, hint is uh, when you're in the Hall of Heroes. And uh, that old army general, he's like, Booker, you know that this lying bastard, he was never at Wounded Knee. That was you and me. And so I'm like, wait a minute. So why would he just latch on to Wounded Knee and, you know, like, take credit for all of these things that for some reason Booker has actually done? And, and you know, I didn't think too much about it. I just kind of figured they were really building this guy up as a really insecure liar. Like, you know, kind of like Donald Trump in mm -hmm. 1910 or something like that. But um, <laughs> then the moment they let you know the truth, suddenly, like, everything in that game just, like, came back in a flood. And I'm like, oh, oh man. holy shit. That was, I mean, that game was brilliantly done. Like, the pace was perfect. The, the story was gripping. The characters were awesome. I mean... And and it was a shooter. I, I'm not I'm not super into shooters generally, um, but boy, they nailed that game. Yeah, that was the story was, and I I never saw that ending. I didn't see the daughter thing coming either. Like none of it. The it daughter was... thing I saw coming, but not like from the beginning. Like I, it wasn't like on my big list of predictable story, you know, twists. Um, oh whoops! I should have saved some missiles so I could get another missile. Let's That's alright. These guys will drop them. Better. The bitches. Give me my damn missiles. Oh, come on. Damn really? It. I don't need that Is much energy. Is there a recharge station, like, in the bottom left? I, I, th I think that blue door to your left will lead you to charge station. I'm probably wrong. I think it's where you get the X... Yeah, it's the dark room. Oh, wait. It is a recharge yeah, is. station. That's gonna take too long. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, so I know I'm super late to this party, but uh, Bioshock really? Infinite is definitely on my list of classics now. Yeah, that's a great game. And it, it's fun to any play, Any game too, that but... can make me feel something, you know, like genuinely. <laughs> that's a good sign. Like, there are games that I enjoy playing, like, that are just kind of good, you know, thrills. Yeah. But they don't necessarily, like, move me in any real way. Bioshock Infinite... I mean that that was, and and it is it is sad, and I almost feel like when when Elizabeth oh the, learns the giving the truth, up the baby part, like oh I actually like having a son, I couldn't do it. Yeah, like yeah, the game had terrible. to make me. <laughs> That's right, because you got to do it. Yeah, I was like, no fucking way, am I handing the baby to this asshole? 
Dude, you just fucking like Matrix between those enemies. <laughs> I'm glad that it is you playing this, because I would not be operating at the skill level that you are. <laughs> also, I don't know why, but to this day, I still haven't got the wall jump mechanic down for this game. Like, I can do it maybe, like, once or twice, but, like, that corridor where you're supposed to learn how to do it with, like, the little oh, critters. Oh, the monkeys and stuff? Yeah, that always. Like, I can never get past that. I don't know why. I'm terrible. Oh wait, isn't there a missile over here that I might? Want yeah, to get? so this will be your first like bomb jump skill test or wall jump. Never mind. Boom. Mm -hmm. And oh, yeah, the, the uh, bomb jumping in this game even less useful. I, I realize AM2 R the bomb jumping is a bit easier when you've learned the timing, and the timing is much different than it is in this game. But it's it is, it's, yeah. it's slower in this game. It's a little more deliberate, and it's it's it tough. It and if you yeah, if so, you screw it up, it uh, it's aggravating. Yeah, AM2R's pattern is da 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 da. Yeah, it's a bit quicker. And, it's and I think this one was like bump 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 bump. Yeah. Bum. Give me that charge shot, charge beam. Oh eh, yeah. It's not a magnet like in the other game, but. Yeah. So that would be another thing that I would probably try to do, and then inadvertently. <laughs> <laughs> Am I missing something up there? Do I want to go up there? I do, because that's super missile to my right. Oh hell yeah! <clears throat> you get the super missile early. In you do. Game. Oh my gosh. Love it. Granted, this was also its introduction into oh. the main series, but oh, my little proto screw attack. Yeah right. <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad that we're able sound. to play this following AM2R because I mean it's just like classic to classic instead of like slug through it before you hit the classic. Oh yeah. And it makes me appreciate Fusion what will probably what probably seem a little they... weaker by comparison, but still yeah, a good game. Fusion is a good game. Then again I've never finished Fusion. It didn't deserve I'm... the crap that it got. Um Well but, it wasn't I mean I, I can share in the frustration of having a little too much guidance and narrative. Yeah. It didn't follow the um formula of Superman. You know what? I am going to save here, because I, mean, I, I yeah, don't I would 100 say trust myself with this little thing. Just in case. Yeah, it couldn't hurt. But I could appreciate you know, going to the, those games and, and then playing this one. It's like the control scheme, what they decided to do with how to control Samus after this game, I, I like it, you know? Yeah. I'm, I'm always going to like how Super Metroid controls, but those thing, those games control better. I mean, mm -hmm. for, definitely. And I understand what they were trying to do with this one. Like, they, it, it's a science fiction game, and you're, you're on an alien planet, so they're kind of saying, like, you know, the gravity is different, you know? Yeah. It's floatier. Oh, yeah, I can do this whole thing. All right. So what the hell are those things hanging on the ceiling? Oh, I don't know. Like, 20 years later, I still don't know what those are. Oh. You still there, Max? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was going to say, like, what are those weird, like, fish things in the room below you that are hanging from the ceiling? Fish things? Oh, missed my opportunity there. You know what? The one thing, I have no idea. I'll have to go back and see fish things. Yeah. Like, you don't see them anywhere else in the game. They're just like this weird random decoration. I assumed when I was younger they had to be significant somehow. Is it like just in the room I was the just SNS in days. with those huge mantis things? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure. Ah, get away. It, it, it always bothered me, because, like I said, they're nowhere else in the game, and there's, like, no context for them. They look more mechanical than anything else you see in this environment. Yeah, you're going to smoke this guy. I wouldn't be too worried. Ah, uh, now he's getting... Now he's feeling the jam. He's feeling yeah, the right. rhythm. <laughs> he's enjoying it. Wibbity, wibbity! <laughs> I'll get you! I'm gonna get you. I feel like I used to be able to hide in this corner. I think it's right there to the bottom left. Yeah, that's the corner. Like, I can do this, but... I mean, you always take some damage. 
Oh, I thought that was gonna be it. Yeah, one or two more. The music for this guy is so appropriately creepy. Yeah, it is. Just his movement is so unnatural. There we there go. There it is. Like all the vegetation dies and suddenly you feel just a little bit bad. <laughs> Whoops. I mean, really, Sam has broken into this thing's house. It's not like this was one of the creatures guarding Mother Brain. It's just some peaceful plant. Most, most of the, you're just killing the fauna of this world. <laughs> right. In your quest to get to Mother Brain. I mean, really, it's, I think, the Metroids are the first thing. Well, I don't know. What do you consider the bosses? I mean, you gotta kill them. You gotta murder the bosses in order to have the gold statue sink away. Like, right. what's up with that? Are they hired by Mother Brain? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, mean, Ridley. 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 canonically working for Mother Brain. Kraid? Uh, I don't... So I think is Kraid. What is Kraid's story? Okay, he is too. I, I think. I, I don't... Again, the great thing about Metroid is you kind of put the pieces together for yourself. So, uh, it's not worth deliberating too much. But then, like, that, you know, the ghost octopus thing, that, that how can that be working for Mother Brain? Yeah, right. <laughs> And then, well, and then, and then the there's other... Krokemeyer, who isn't quite a real boss. Like, he's just an obstacle. Oh, didn't the strategy guide, like the one that came with the game, say that that's like a space pirate or something? The Krokemeyer Oh, Krokemeyer is a space pirate? Is it? I think so. I don't have to look at that. Oh, I mean, it makes sense, but he's not part of the gold statue. Oh, dude, nice. <laughs> that was impressive, man. Let's see, I'm not going to get 100%. I think I remember where... No, but that was still 80 cool. 80% of the that stuff. That was is... worthwhile. No, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Can I still come in and okay on your end? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Like I said, I'm getting, like, a little jankiness on um, my screen, but I can still tell completely what's going on. Okay, good. What are these things? Uh -oh. Until I couldn't. Still oh. there? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. For some reason, my screen went blank. I just figured out that I have my computer set to go to sleep after a little while of me not... At, um... oh, so for some reason, even though the, uh, this is recording in full screen on my end, I guess it's still looking for my input. So I'll probably just move originally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been the cause for some of the lag. My computer computer was getting ready to go to sleep. Ah. Here's a mi Oh, no, that's energy. I don't need that. Thought that no, was you missiles. do not. It'd be nice if those missile things actually recharge your super missiles, but they don't. At least not yeah, in this game. Yeah, right? Why the hell don't they? They're coming up. Come on, you. There we go. Ugh, water. Hey, I'm gonna turn my fan on because the room's getting pretty warm. Let me know if you hear any kind of, like, weird audio distortion on my... Okay. There we go. Oh, why? There we go. Okay, are you hearing any kind of buzzing or anything? Mm, nope. Sweet. Okay, because the fans time. kicked up in like full blast right now. Okay, There's yeah. The spacer. Going to work this morning, coming outside and seeing snow. Bullshit. Yeah, Bullshit. dude, fuck that. <laughs> what the hell? It is, it is April. Yeah. I, am, I am so over this we're, climate we're, change. We're shit. about done with this. And I think starting this week, it's finally going to start getting a little more normal. It's I We're going to start seeing some again, you just 70s. Don't know. Oh, what's this? Glass tube here. Hmm. That is my favorite screen in the game, the one that you just passed, oh, just yeah. because I love blowing it up to get Oh my radio. god, right. Mine too. Even though there's like a back way to get into Meridia. I think that's the way I almost always go is the um cuz I hate getting into Meridia from the first of all the music's not right. That's not how you get in. That's like Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that is not the way you're supposed to get in. You got to yeah, blow no, up the, the glass. Yeah, the canonical entrance to Meridia is definitely that tunnel. Yeah. Oh, are we coming up on speed booster? Uh, not just yet. I mean, we kind of are. 
but I think we gotta do some things first. Wait, you need the spood booster to get through this room, yeah, that's right. I need to beat Kraid first and everything. So and I think Kraid is before the speed booster? Oh, I think so. This room is really? gonna hurt me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I know you're okay, I'm I'm it's wrong. You're about to high jump. High jump. Yes indeed. High jump boots. So far so good, man. You are dominating. Ooh, and an energy tank. Right? The more, once I get like four energy tanks, then it's like, okay, it's going to be a little bit harder to die. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually kind of funny, because with a few exceptions, the beginning of the game is actually more of a peril than um, most of the end game stuff, especially once you get the screw attack. Yeah. Although I got to say, some of the bosses, though, are still can give you a lot of trouble. Like Ridley used to give me trouble, but I think mm -hmm. the the uh whatever the boss is in meridia that's you know just trying to protect her babies until you come stomping in uh yeah that that's used to right. give me a now, ton now the of question trouble. is do you kill that boss the cheap way or do you actually fight it uh these days the cheap way for sure oh, me and too. in fact you were the one that showed me that i never knew about that until i went over to your house and you're and you were like oh watch this and you got the grappling oh, hook for real? yeah and I was like, uh, what are you doing, you idiot? Oh, yeah, that's that's that. that's not how you play Super Metroid. And then, oh, wait a second, I'll just go the other you way. You just tried to grab the ledge, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. It's like, what the hell is she doing? Nice bomb. Thanks. Yeah, and I saw that, and that blew my fucking mind, dude, when you showed <laughs> me that. I was like, what? <laughs> I love Super Nintendo games where you can, like, learn something new 20 something years after you played it for the first time oh yeah like for <laughs> legend of zelda link to the past it was only like two or three years ago i was playing through the game and i saw the scene where uh the the boy with the flute turns into the tree oh really what seriously yeah didn't know that was a thing yeah, I guess you don't have to see that. That's no, really well, and actually, I think, it, I think it's dependent upon timing in some way. I, I'd have to Google, like, the actual way to get that to happen. Oh, shit, oh, you can see this. Okay, I'll, I'll go down and get one. <laughs> yeah, go down but there's, there's a something... Super missile. Yeah, there's something about that, and I, I can't remember what it was, but there's a certain criteria you have to meet. Like, you have to complete the quest in a certain way or in a certain time to... Uh, to, to see that scene or else how how would you get the flute otherwise you still get it but it's like um so either someone else gives it to you or i wonder if his dad gives it to you or no he doesn't can't. he like just fade away into nothing or oh crap well we're gonna have to replay no, link to the yeah, past no, that's another one that goes on the list uh for sure yeah uh, you know what? And as far as top five games of all time, this is on there. Yeah. This is like number five, and Link to the Past is definitely on there too. So that dude, that'll... out of my top five games of all time, I think like three of them are probably SNES games, and I, I think they're probably the same ones you're thinking. Uh, oh yeah. There's this. There's um, Chrono Trigger, and there's Link to the Past. Yeah. I I put Final Fantasy VI over Chrono Trigger, even though, and that's tough. Oh, that's right. You're Chrono, one of those people. Chrono Trigger, yes, I. <laughs> Chrono Trigger is... Wait a second. Where do I want to go? And yes, I'd be inclined to agree. Uh, save point to your right. Oh, okay. I may want to do that. Yeah. Um, I'd be inclined to agree. I love FF6 so much. Um, and I love Chrono Trigger. But the ending like... of Chrono Trigger, or, or the best ending of Chrono Trigger, still gets the waterworks going every single time. Yeah. I, I don't even know why. It's not like even an exceptionally... Um, it's, it's a pretty positive ending, you know? Yeah. But, like, there's something about the music and then, like, the... And and for me, for it to have the full impact on me, it has to be the version where Chrono and Marley are riding the balloons instead of going on the epic. Riding the balloons? Don't tell me you've never seen that ending. Is that PlayStation? Or... No, no, it's 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 the one that you get when um you drive the uh, epic into Lavos and skip that first part of the battle. Oh, I think I I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's actually so if the epic is destroyed, um, but you still do all of the other stuff to get the best ending. Yeah. Um, 
like the king shows up with uh, Nadia's bell and he tries to hang it by tethering it to a bunch of balloons. Well, the Marley has to hold the balloons and they all go flying away. So Chrono jumps on to protect her. And that's what you see instead is, is them flying through the sky on these balloons. And for some reason, I don't know why, it's just a combination of like just how pretty the SNES could be um, when the art direction was good. And then there's the music, and so I don't know why. That that scene just still gets the emotions stirred up for how me. Many, how many endings did that game have? I like think like five, 10, I think six? 12 in the DS version. Oh yeah, I've never played the DS version. That has another dungeon too, doesn't it? Yeah, and actually, I was just going to say, um, I, I actually bought the uh, Steam version, which you are well aware that that release has some issues. Yeah. But the fan outcry was so drastic that according to Square Enix, I think they're actually supposed to patch it uh, at the end of this month. Oh, okay. So if the patch is good and it looks comparable, that might be the version we want to play just because it does have those extra dungeons. Come on, Craig. I mean, we definitely won't be getting all the endings or anything, but I, it's fun to cut some of the optional content. There we go. Just because you can get so overpowered in that game. <laughs> Yeah. Like, if, if you put a gold stud on Magus and had him casting Dark Matter for 5 MP, that was just it. Dude, I gotta replay that game now. It's it, It's been ten, probably over 10 years since I've played Chrono oh, Trigger. Oh, dude. And I, I'm, I'm struggling to remember a lot of what you're saying. Sweet. <laughs> dude, We uh, just just hang on until we beat FF7, which we can actually do now. Okay, yeah, I, w I wouldn't mind going to Chrono Trigger again. And yeah, I've, I've never I, done that, That'll be our next like big project. I have done it on the on the Super Nintendo emulator. I never beat the PlayStation version, but I've um, uh -huh. I've done the I've just done it on the Super Nintendo, and then I've done the Super Nintendo emulator. You know, same thing, just on an emulator. Yeah. So I've never gotten the any other version than you know where Frog is just Frog, where he's very proper and, and acting like Cyan almost. But I heard like the PlayStation yeah. version, he's. You know, I guess that was added. I don't know if Woosley or someone else did Chrono Trigger. Um, no, uh, I, I think the PlayStation version was just a straight port of the SNES. Maybe it's the... They, they didn't change the translation until the DS version. Oh, maybe it's the DS version I'm thinking of, that they changed Yeah, they changed a few things. And he's still kind of more proper than the other characters. He just doesn't say the I but and they sir a whole lot. a bit lot. more like... Um, I don't know. I, they didn't try like as hard with the thee and thou stuff. Yeah. I think it, it just made him more. Kind of think of like FF12's translation. Okay. Just medieval. Just. Uh, yeah, he, he's a of... bit more eloquent, but but not like super formal with everyone. I mean, he's still a soldier. Yeah, which just is how you kind of, kind of uh, think of a noble knight to be. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. Oh man, I'm starting to crave that game now so <laughs> that i'm hoping that the patch addresses a lot of the issues um the graphics look super muddy and then they have like the mobile overlay still on the screen which is just yeah that that is what gets me that's like there is yeah. no reason for that there's no no reason I, I hate that that, like that's they just lazy. Couldn't have been bothered to take five minutes and patch that shit out. That's what it seems like. It seems like the easiest thing. Like, it pisses me off. And for a game like that, for Chrono Trigger, it deserves so much better. And I will give oh, you, yeah. you, you know, I go back and forth. Like, I love Chrono Trigger. I think it has more of a, it feels more like an adventure than FF6 does, you know? It's, um... Yeah, FF6 feels like a, like a melodrama in, in the best possible way pretty sure it's the middle yeah you're correct of. i think it's one down yeah but you're right no those games had very different vibes but I, I i think like the more classic fairy tale feel is what makes me love chrono trigger so much and yeah it does uh, that, that that plus the fact that this story is so um you know the snes was the very first time where you could look at an rpg and say it's kind of got a almost stereotypical storyline like you know knights and castles and um yeah <laughs> stuff like that and dragons and those things were all present in chrono trigger but then so was a lot of other stuff that you'd never seen in a jrpg before yeah 
Well, that was the so, first so I time. I used the time travel to really good effect. Yes, and that was the first time I could think of like going to, you know, a f way back in the past or going to like a future. Like that was really cool. That because the first oh, place, yeah. first place you can go to is is the distant future, isn't it? And no, uh, first you go to just like relatively close in time. You're at 600 AD and you meet Frog. But then after that is when you go okay, to the future. Okay, yeah. And that's where, like, the kind of the whole tone of the game really shifts, because that's also where you figure out about Lavos and everything yeah. else. And that's and and I remember because this was before FF Seven, and it's just like mm -hmm. you know you're, you you think of like these RPGs, and I was always thinking medieval times, and you know, and even the beginning of Chrono Trigger was different. Um, oh yeah. And, oh, can I, I can get up here right yeah, now? Yeah, I mean, you're not really like anybody. You're 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 not like a. a bounty hunter or a uh, or a noble knight or anything like that. Chrono's basically just kind of a layabout. He's just a yeah. He ends and it's crazy he ends up becoming so powerful, but yeah, he's just he's just a dude. <laughs> yeah, he's just a dude and um I mean Frog mentions that he's a good swordsman, but I mean he's more of a hobbyist. He's not like defending anything. He lives in like a really peaceful time, so Yeah. Whoa. Oh, you remember Illusion of Gaia? That was a good oh, game. Oh, do I remember Illusion of Gaia? Illusion of Gaia is the metaphor that I still associate with puberty for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's I can see why. Yeah, turn into this. Big, well, not huge only dude, that though, but grows. like I played that game. Uh, the first time I beat that game fully um, was probably when I was turning like twelve to thirteen. So like I really kind of latched on to the character of Will. Yeah. I just thought Will would be like an awesome cosplay, but you'd have to like have a wooden flute and just, I don't know, the costume, I don't know. That'd be a lot, It'd be hard to do. Yeah, I guess, let me think. I never saw the instruction manual for that game. Was there like a lot of official artwork of Will? There was. Okay. Yeah, he's like in a blue. So, so it's not like you're guessing. It's like a Link style tunic. That, yeah, that's what I figured. I, I, it doesn't seem too complicated. But I mean, your your hair is just a little bit of a different shade than his. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wouldn't it, I'd, I'd have to get a blonde wig for sure. Yeah. Uh, do I? Really but want by that to same token, it's also cosplay, so who gives a shit? <laughs> as long as you're having fun. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything down here from now, but not really. Okay. Hey, did you ever play Terra Enigma? Not really. I've played the beginning of it a million times, but I've never gotten too far. And I think you've that told me like, the, the battle system is something else, huh? Yeah, it, it, it's a huge improvement over Illusion of Gaia, actually, in terms of the combat. I haven't played through it fully either. I've, I've played through parts of it, and I'm aware of kind of like its weird history. Like, it's the only game, or the, the only JRPG that I know of, that saw a PAL release, but no American release. Hmm. That's so, yeah, so like that's one thing the they English have over us. No problem, but it's on a PAL ROM, <laughs> which, which is kind of odd. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, for the longest time, it, I mean, like, there are still some games that I I'm all <laughs> nice, Max. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Just fucking, I'm taking a lava <laughs> bath. There's always some games that I'm really like surprised to find out like that they just never had in england until they got like a portable or a ds release like down it, the road it's crazy right it's it's nuts what they had to deal and then getting some of the games that they got like that we got but oh come on nice you know what Screw i'm this. getting back up there damn it The ironic thing, of course, being that you could have just gone out that door and gotten up there by now. Actually, I don't think you can get through this part right away anyways. I think you need the wave, the, um, the wave beam. I think you're right. And possibly the um, grappling hook to do this part. Um, do I, though? I don't need the grappling hook. No, but I think the wave beam is what gets you through that door at the top. Yeah, I think you're... I could be wrong. No, you're right, but I feel like... I gotta look at it myself, because yeah. there's, there's a way to gotta see there's a way to cheat it or something. I don't know. I gotta take a look. Oh, it's going. Oh no, I'm I'm just totally wrong. I'm pretty sure this is the wave beam. I think because the wave beam is like optional in this game. It's weird. 
it's it's like you're right it is off the beaten path a little bit oh okay. shit okay you're, you're <laughs> right about the grappling hook you don't need it but they want you to have it kind of deal Here hey we look go. at that you were right yeah, so this makes things easier. You can go, it makes backtracking like a lot easier going back to Brinstar. Yeah, it does. But it's it's weird in that in this game it is totally optional. Do they really intend for you to come back after you get the, uh, the grappling, the grappling hook, hook just that? for this? Yeah, I guess so. I don't think I've ever gotten that the correct way. No, and yeah, there's no reason to. So like I said, even if you suck at the wall jump like I do, you can still pull one off and oh, get that. It's great. Now it goes through Hey, you know what would be great is if you had a magnet. <laughs> the charge beam just magnetized great. that health. I gotta get used to my L and R again. Yeah. <sighs> now you're also about to get the ice beam, aren't you? Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah. Now the wave beam, just the power of it too, is a nice improvement. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. And... Dude, this is like the most productive first episode I think we've ever had. <laughs> okay. Of course, like I said, you know this game, I so it's, it's not going to be game. nearly as long as our first two. I'm thinking maybe like four episodes max for this one. I'm sure I can maybe do it in three. Maybe even three at the rate you're going. Spoon booster. Yep, spoon booster coming. Hey, by the way, did your heater just kick on? It just did. Yep, okay, you're breaking up just a hair. Not too bad. Oh, crud. But if you want to fillet the mic a little I bit. I will fillet it. I'll put it oh, in my yeah. mouth. Dude, I, I, I gotta be honest, like mild chub right now. <laughs> like, just, just just a little bit. Like, not not full-on, like, erection. Oh, yes. I we, love we are it. <laughs> Like it, it moved, you know? <laughs> Keep going, some Chris. Movement. <laughs> I'm pretty, that was a Seinfeld episode, wasn't it? It, it Yeah, moved. where George got the massage from a man. <laughs> it moved. He was so... Uh, 90 storylines, I love it. I know, he was right? He so like, freaked out Don't by get it. me wrong, I, I, do, I don't think anyone's sexuality should be used as a punchline. But at the same time, like, stuff like that... Because it was more about George's insecurity than it was anything else and that's what made it so funny not that ha ha gay but ha ha george is such a child oh he's going for it i can sense the focus dude you suck <laughs> i do i gotta find it again <laughs> oh wait nope there it is oh he had it gentle monotone drum of my voice breaking your concentration you know what would be really great is if you had a uh, turbo control and you could just hold Y oh Ooh, this is tough tougher than you remember or just tougher than like, I remember the emulator is just different enough from the SNES Oh, okay, a couple more tries. Yeah. 30 more minutes, I'm gonna give up. Yeah, right. 30 minutes. So do you think this is more of like an emulator issue, or is it just... No, it's a max the issue. controller feels a little different, or you just are old and tired? <laughs> oh, don't go too fast. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go legit. I, I can't stand. The, there's, there's an energy tank up there, there's a missile up there. There's some goodies right. up there. I don't want to just come back with the with the uh, the grappling hook. But I'm... Or I mean, you could even just wait until you get the space jump and really make it easy. Oh my gosh! Oh, you know what? I think you're onto something there. I think there's a way to hit that ledge. Ooh, it's tough. You know who I I remember seeing do this? Who? Nick Weber. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's He's see. one of those guys that. I, I mean, I think we've had this conversation before, but when he gets into a game, you can even, even if it's just like a side project, he gets like super invested into it, and he's not like satisfied until he's like seen everything or broken everything. You really? Oh, I hit it, but oh, you did. 
Oh, and fuck you. you ever really wanna this thing's creep. gonna like, screw me. We should me do up. like maybe a three-player Discord session sometime, and have us show him, uh, have him show us his Stardew Valley save. <laughs> you will like drop ten bucks on that game that night. Really? Trust me. Actually, speaking of which, have you played that at all? No, I've never played Stardew Valley. Uh, Is that I like actually Harvest Moon? like. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's similar to Harvest Moon, and I literally got into it because Nick came over and like showed me how great it was. And of course, I was thinking, oh man, I'm gonna have hard him. And then I just realized, no, I am completely not Nick Weber. I am not going to <laughs> be able to invest myself in such a way that I am going to have like this farm that basically runs itself. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh crap, like I actually have to build all this. But it is a fantastic game. Like, it, it, it's Harvest Moon, but like taken to the next level. It's totally fleshed out. It's got a lot of really charming characters. Um, and a, an actual kind of fun narrative, too. It's, it's, it's a good game. Ouch. I, I definitely recommend picking it up. Or, or like I said, let's see if maybe one night he'd be willing to do kind of a one and done play with us and just kind of take us around his farm. All right. Sounds good. I, I'm, I, I don't know. I, I'd, I'd also I'd be never... curious to see how well Discord does with three people chatting on it. Yeah. Because I still want to do that Secret of Mana run through. Oh my god, yeah. Do they have that on Steam? Oh, or would that, be a, would that be a PS4? It's actually pretty good. I've heard it is not bad at all if you take voices off. Which, if you what? Take voices off. If you don't have the oh, voice yeah, actors yeah, doing the voice that thing, acting, uh, from what I've heard, is, a little... is terrible. Yeah. 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 I mean, terrible by modern standards. It, it would sound like right at home on the PS1. On PS1, yeah. I'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah it's voices. Hey, voices. <laughs> or it might even sound kind of good on the PS1, <laughs> come to think of it. But, Dude, you know it would be a hilarious game to play, like, um, the next time you come visit, like, play in the same room. What's that? Clock Tower. Oh, wait, which one? PlayStation? Yeah, PS1. Uh, I, I was just thinking of bad voice acting. That brings me back. You know, to this day, there are still scenes in that game that genuinely give me jump scares. <laughs> like, even if I know they're coming. Ah, oh, that is a good... Yeah, you know what? That might just be PTSD more than anything. <laughs> so that yeah, game that was could scary. Be. I remember the first time I rented that game, like, before... Um, before I showed it to you, um, I was thinking, like, you sh you just finished beating Resident Evil 2, and you showed me how great that game was, and I was like, oh man, I've got to find something else that's, like, kind of scary that would be really fun that we could play together that same way. And so I rented Clock Tower just randomly, thinking it was going to be similar to Resident Evil. Not only was it not, <laughs> but, like, the first, um, you know, I, I didn't know anything about the mechanics of the game, so I had Helen as my main character instead of Jennifer. Mm -hmm. But the first part of the game where you're playing as Helen and someone knocks on her door and you look out the peephole and you see that oh, guard. You, you see, yeah, it's just the shadow of like, him, basically. Like, I literally returned the game having not progressed <laughs> further than that. Like, I did not have the balls to open that door. That's awesome. Like, granted, I was 10 years old, but... <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that, that yeah. game. That, well, that is the scary part. It's scary. Oh, yeah, it traumatized me. I mean, like, in a good way, not like I have a fear of doors or anything now. But... <laughs> Dude, you need health. Yes, I do. Give me health. All right, now I'm good. I, I, th I think that game is so memorable for me, more for just, like, the experience of going through it with you and, like, kind of just being two cowardly 10-year-olds, like working through it together <laughs> yeah that was uh i remember first seeing it and the mouse clicker and everything i was like ah, oh, this ain't no good i don't want to play that but oh yeah was, no the, the it, game itself i mean it's clunky i mean the story's kind of cool but i i came to love that that was just part of the charm yeah. of it you know and, and exactly yeah game is scary yeah and it's one of those things where like if they tried to release something like that today unless it was a pc game Ow. you'd be wondering like what the hell they were thinking um but you're right, because of the way we associate our memories with it, it's just become part of the charm. Kind of like Resident Evil tank controls. No other way to play it. Well, I mean, there is, and it's better, but still. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, e even with the PS4 remake, which is another one on our kind of short list, um, I still revert to the tank controls just because I don't know anything else. <laughs> it's no other. Like life. it's kind of a point of pride for me. Like I mastered the game back when people would like pop it into their PS1 or their GameCube and be like, "What the fuck is this? I I can't play like this." Like, that was kind of your status as a pro gamer, was just accommodating yourself to the controls in those games. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> now, did Silent Hill also used to have the tank controls? I don't or think so. Or was that so. always... No, it was it was normal, fine controls. <laughs> okay. There was, like, no reason What's for What's another game controls? that I'm thinking of that... Parasite Eve... No. Well, Parasite Eve 2 did, right? It might have. I don't... Oh, oh. Oh no! Or or did both Parasite Eve games have tank controls? Parasite Eve. Let me think for a second. Parasite Eve might have. No, I think that I was just like a hold it, X and run I, I kind of thing. I could be totally wrong, but I think Parasite Eve had tank controls. Oops. Dude, this is the only corridor in the game where like the high jump actually works to your detriment, but you seem to have it under control. Oh damn it. One of these. Oh. You're right, there is one of these that is fake. Yeah, it's not in here. Is though. there one that's not moving? It's. I remember where it is. I just had to think about okay, it for yeah, a second. Oh, oh snap. It's yellow. What does that mean? I don't know if I mentioned, but I love this game. Oh, this game's awesome. The music, too. I remember just hearing I know. this music. That's the only this. thing that troubles me right now is that I can't hear the music. Oh. Soon enough. I'm gonna look forward to uh, listening to it later when I'm editing. There's the power bomb. Power bomb. Power bomb. Pile driver. Oh, just thinking of old wrestling games. <laughs> Ow. Oh god. That was not the fake one. <laughs> now I got the power bombs. I think this might be a great place to uh, hit up a save point, just so that we don't do too much all Seriously. in the first episode. Let's see. I'm pretty sure... Where's this? This is going to lead course. back to Criteria. Oh, here's the save point. Yeah. It's also a good Seriously. place, too, because you've only really beat one major boss. Well, all right, man. You are still uh, pro status at this game, except for that <laughs> one bomb jump. Oh yeah, oh god. You know, bomb jumps are a little tougher. I'll get it. <laughs> Alright, well, that was good. Hell yeah, Let's and see. I think um, I, I think recording was pretty smooth. Ho hopefully um, that part where my screen blacked out didn't give us any weird effects, but... Hopefully, nah, I think we'll be good. Where am I at? Alright. Okay. Well, I guess I can always... So next time we're heading up to, like, what? Uh, we go back to Criteria... Yeah, do we, go we to can... the, do we go to the wrecked ship next? Uh, let's see. Or no, Second we go down thing... into Norfair for a little bit. We don't go all the way to Ridley. No, I think... But we definitely go down into Norfair, don't we? Yeah, I think I can do... Now that I have the power bombs, I can definitely just go back to Criteria, start the game over again, sort of. Do a little bit of collecting. Um, yeah. I could go yeah, that way. Yeah, you know way. what? You do go down to Norfair, though, because that's where... That's for what? I do have... The grappling hook? The grappling hook, that's right. Yeah, you get it when you fight Krokemeyer, and then that gives you uh, access to the wrecked ship, yeah. which gives you access to Meridia. So really, there's no reason to backtrack just yet. I can... I can no, do... because you're going to have to. Yeah. Once I get the grappling hook, that's when I'm going to want to backtrack. But I think I'm going to backtrack from Brinstar and kind of work For my sure. way up to Criteria and then go to the wrecked ship that way. Sounds oh, good. I see what you're saying. Yeah, cool. so I'll, I'll just go. I'll just head back down to Norfair. I think next episode. Sweet. All right, buddy. All right. Looking until, forward to it. Me too. Till the next time. Till next time.